leverage your contrast to awaken to the truth of who and what you are. Now that is an amazing concept. In other words, the challenges, the obstacles, the ups and downs, the twists and turns that you are experiencing in your life were masterfully put in your experience by you, I might add, to awaken the truth of who and what you are, to bring to the surface what's no longer serving you. Remember, as I mentioned before, you know, we pick up all these limiting thoughts, beliefs, and perceptions. We hide our divine essence and our power behind all these traumatic experiences we've experienced in our past, in our childhood, our crazy parents, the wonderful school system we were exposed to, religious institutions, all kinds of different things. The media, let's just add to the list, right, of things that provide you with limiting thoughts, limiting beliefs, limiting perceptions of the truth of who and what you are. And we carry those within us. They reverberate within us. And if we're lucky enough, and I do mean if we are lucky enough, they are going to come to the surface and show up as the obstacles, the challenges, the health challenges, uh, the relationship breakdowns, the uh, prosperity blocks and issues but yet they're there to bring to your attention the truth of who and what you are so that you can masterfully play the game, which we talked about in the last episode, the cosmic game of hide and seek, and experience your divine essence, the truth of who and what you are. I had challenges growing up. I mean, I was not good enough, no matter what I did. I wasn't good at school. I was a chubby kid. You know, all kids, they want to be the jock, you know, the super stud athletic dude, you know, that was not me. That yearly physical fitness test, I couldn't do a pull up. It was pitiful. You know, I tried to play baseball, the ball would go by and then I would swing. I was just, it was not my thing. And as a result of, you know, having a mom that was tough on me, that's not good enough. You can do better. And school say, nope, you're not smart enough. We're going to put you in bonehead, whatever class or in the physical fitness thing. Yeah, pretty much, you know, yeah, you're not very good at that. Even my own dad laughing at me because I was so bad at baseball. It was laughable, but yet nonetheless, it provided this uh, mindset that who and what I was wasn't good enough. So I made this commitment to live my life behind the wall. I'm not going to express myself. I'm not going to shine my light because every time that I have done, it's, I've been told it's not good enough. I've been told that I don't deserve the accolades or whatever I might have been seeking at the time. But if you're uh, like myself and if you have spent time behind the wall of self-preservation that you created, you realize The only thing that exists behind that wall with you is discontent. The only thing that lives behind that wall with you is the lack of fulfillment. And this was really the intention behind my album Beyond the Wall that came back way back in 06. You know, because I knew that I needed to move beyond my wall, especially with this dream and this undying passion to help others on their journey through life. You know, I didn't even think that I could play music good enough to be deserving of sharing it in public. It's just what I grew up believing. So here I had this contrast in my life that broke my heart in so many ways. But yet at some point in my life, I realized, wait, that's not the truth of who and what I am. That's not my true essence. My soul started whispering in my ear, there's something more. So those challenges and those obstacles that are arose out of that mindset, out of that belief, brought to my attention what was no longer working. I tried to change them out there. You know, maybe if I go earn a bunch of money, I can change that. Maybe if I drive a shinier car, I'll be cooler. None of that worked. It's because it's all within you. And ultimately, I had to come to a point in my life where I needed to address within my own self. 
And a perfect analogy of this, I've used it before. I'm going to use it again because we all have cars. That oil light comes on on the dashboard. What are you going to do? That oil light is your challenge. It's your obstacle. Are you going to cover it up with tape and pretend that it doesn't exist? Well, you can do that, but it doesn't work. And most of us have done that to one degree or another. I know that I have. It doesn't work. My mother used to tell me, son, you sweep enough crap underneath the carpet, eventually it's going to burst. And let me tell you something, it does. So rather than covering up that oil lamp on your dashboard, you're like, oh, I need to let go of something that's no longer serving me. I need to let go of that old oil. Maybe it's dirty. Maybe it's not good enough. I need to let go of that. And I need to replace it with something of higher vibration, something that's cleaner, something that's more alignment in the truth of who and what we are. And as a result of doing that, the light turns off. The obstacle goes away in your life. And so rather than fight, curse, make yourself wrong for having the obstacle, embody it, embrace it, ask it. What are you here to tell me? What are you here to reveal about myself? What contrast is it that I need to let go of so that I can embody a whole nother level of my divine essence, of the truth of who and what I am? You know, we are masters of not dealing with our stuff, okay? We can binge watch Netflix. We can do the scroll on social media. We can have a big bowl of ice cream, drink a six pack of beer, whatever it might be. There are so many different ways that we don't deal with our contrasts in life. And what I want to say is stop. Look at your contrast, quit fighting it, embrace it. And remember, it's here to help you to reveal and experience your divine essence. Remember, the only way that you can experience your divine essence here on the game board of planet Earth, okay, is to forget that you were ever divine. Forget that you were ever magnificent. Forget that you were ever unlimited in your potential. But now you're at a point in your life, you wouldn't be tuned into this channel if you weren't, okay, that you're ready to reveal the truth of who and what you are. So with that being said, Let's set that intention to unveil and to leverage the challenges, the obstacles, and the contrasts in our life to reveal the divine masterpiece that's within. So with that being said, I invite you to take some nice deep breaths. Breathing deeply. obstacles and our challenges are here to serve us. Leverage yours to unveil this divine masterpiece that's within you. to awaken to who you really are. Take a deep breath. Who you are is magnificent. Who you are is unlimited in your potential. Who you are is a divine, beautiful expression of life. And you came here to have the experience of being extraordinary, to have the experience of being awesome, to have the experience of being healthy and vibrant. And in order for us to truly experience that and to learn and to grow from that, we need to experience the contrast. We've all laid the foundation. In our early years of our life, in the circumstances that have happened in our experience that continue to tell us that somehow we're not good enough or not deserving, well, perhaps maybe the oil light is on your dashboard. It's time to let go of what's no longer serving you and to embody the truth of who and what you are. 
So if you're not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to push that subscribe button and subscribe. This month is all about awakening. And if you haven't downloaded your free track of high vibration healing music to support you through this process, to energize you five minutes a day, breathe in the notes, go to markamoromusic.com forward slash gift, markamoromusic.com forward slash gift and download your track of high vibration music today. You are an extraordinary expression of life. Just breathe that in. You are amazing. Let go of any doubt and begin to embody and live your life from a whole new level. You have a beautiful piece of music that's within you. Be committed to bring it forward and expressing and shining that light into the world. Thank you for your commitment. Take care. Have a harmonious day.